Hi, in this short video I'm going to demo AccuRank Tracker and show you just how quick and easy it is to use AccuRank Tracker to track the rankings and more importantly get accurate ranking information for all of your websites. There are absolutely no restrictions with AccuRank Tracker. You can add as many websites and as many keywords as you want at no additional charge and no recurring fees. So let's get started. We've made the user interface of AccuRank Tracker intentionally very simple. We don't want to overcomplicate it. We want it to be very simple. We know that you just want to track the rankings of your websites. You want to stick them in there and you want to be able to check every now and then whenever you want. Um, set it up on a schedule to check at a certain day or time and, and just know what your websites rank. So that's our goal. That was our goal when we created it and we feel we've accomplished that and we've created what we believe to be the absolute best rank tracker on the market today. So to use it, it's very simple. Once you have it installed on your system, you'll obviously want to add your URLs and keywords. There's two options here. You can do it manually, which I'll do it right now, um, or you can import them. You can add all of your websites and keywords to a simple notepad document, and you can import every single one of them all at once at the click of a button. For this demo, we'll go ahead and do it manually very quickly. So let's say this is your website. Type it in there. Click Add. Now your keyword, you want to add your keyword that's associated with that website. Add. Done. Now we're going to associate that keyword with that URL. We'll click Add Statistic. That's what these are right here. So we're going to associate that keyword, which is right there, to that URL, which is right there. We're going to select the country we want to know the ranking in. In this case, we'll use the United States. Which search engines we want to track, Google and Bing. The campaign, that's uh, optional. Um, we'll leave that at default. You can create a campaign to manage all of your different websites. So let's say you have clients. You might want to separate each client um, for you know their websites and keywords, etc. Um, lots of other benefits from that too. For this case, we won't use a campaign, so it will go to our default cam uh, campaign. Proxy, this is also optional. You can use a proxy, um, and that's part of our accuracy guarantee. If you want to know the ranking of your website in another country, a country that you don't reside in, you can find a proxy in that country and we do provide a list of proxy providers. Um, you can add a proxy to the system and it will check your ranking from a proxy that is located in that country. So if you check that that ranking, that website ranking, yourself manually, and let's say you're in the US and you want to know how it ranks in Germany for example, um, if you just go to google.de which is the Google TLD for Germany, you're going to get a similar ranking, but it's not going to be 100% accurate no matter what rank tracker you use and no matter what browser you use because you're not in that location. So with AccuRank Tracker, you can add a known proxy that is in that location and assign it to that country. You can add multiple uh, proxies if you like and assign them to any particular country. And then once you select that country up here, it will automatically assign that proxy. Okay, so um, if let's say we had proxies assigned to the US, they would show up right here in this drop down menu. We don't, so none show up. Um, again, that is optional. That's not something that most users will need, but that is there if you uh, do want to use that. So in this case, we'll just leave that at default as well. Now, notification this will send me an email and tell me whenever this website reaches a certain spot. So let's say I want to know when this website reaches number one or number three or ten. Um, I can set it and I will receive an email the second that website reaches that ranking. And the same for the bottom. If, if let's say the site ranks number five and I want to know if it drops below the top ten, I'll set that at ten and I'll get an email saying, hey, your, your website has dropped below um, the, the number ten spot. Alright, so we'll go ahead and click save and as you can see it has been added right here. So now if we want to know how it ranks, you can click the play button right here and it will load that ranking. Okay, so as you can see it ranks number one in Google and it does not rank in Bing. NA means it does not rank, it did not find it. Um, there's also a change here, so if the ranking changed since the last time you checked, it would show the number um, right here, it would show the number up or down that it changed. So if it went up um, or if it went down three spots, in this case it can't go up any higher since it's number one. Let's say it went down to number two, it dropped two. So it would say minus two here and there would be a down arrow here. If it went up, it would be an up arrow and plus whatever. Okay, and that's the same for Bing. Here's the country it was assigned to, the, the date it was checked last. Right here you can edit that. Um, here you can add a note to the history and let's go ahead and show you the history. If you right click on any one of these keywords, you can click view history 
and it will show the history. Now this website in particular hasn't changed at all. Um, if it had and the rankings were different between Google and Bing, you would see Google is red and Bing is blue. Since they're the exact same ranking, you're only seeing red. Uh, but if they were different, you would see the different colors here. So you can very quickly and easily see the ranking. You can scroll in, scroll out. You can move this with your mouse. Um, very cool little history right here. You can change your uh, historical, your dates here. So we'll go back um, several days there. And as you can see, it did change a little bit there. Uh, but Bing has not ranked the whole time, so Bing does not show up. So, uh, very cool little history there. So we'll go ahead and close that. You can also export, and we'll go ahead and export that history. So let's say we go back a few days. Uh, we'll go ahead and show the chart, and we'll show that report. And you can actually export your report to send it to your clients or for your own records. And it will export to PDF. And right there you have a very professional report that you can send right out to your clients. Um, this is a logo. You can upload your own custom logo. This is a logo I uploaded. Um, it has all the information here, the ranking history all down here. It has the graph down here. So a very nice, neat, uh, professional report that you can export and send to your clients if you do have clients or keep it for your own purpose. And we also have event tracking. So if you click this right here, you can say, let's say you started an SEO campaign today. So the, the day of doing this video is uh, April 8th. Let's say we started an SEO campaign today. And this is just one example. We'll click Save. And now if we view that history, you'll see this dot is a little bit bigger. If you hover over that dot, as you can see right there, it says started SEO campaign. So now we can go back in about a month or two and look and say, okay, well I started that SEO campaign on that day. Let's see how it affected my ranking. And you'll actually see, okay, the ranking was here at that time and now it's here. Um, so you'll be able to see how that SEO uh, campaign actually affected your ranking. And that's just one example. You can use that for anything at all that you like. And then you can check the rankings for all of your websites. You can either click check all, which will check every single stat. We call these stats right here that show up here. Um, or you can right click, click uh, check selected keyword. You can click the play button. Um, once it starts checking, you can click stop to stop that ranking. Or you can use stars right here. And anyone that is selected, just like that, anyone that is selected will be checked. So you can click check stars and it will check only those keywords that have a star highlighted next to them. So that makes it much quicker and easier to check your ranking. We also have a scheduler. If you go into file settings, you can go into the scheduler and you can have it che uh, check the rankings of your keywords in the background on autopilot so it's completely set and forget. So you can set it to every day, every week, every so many hours and at that time that you set it, it will automatically start checking all of your rankings um, that you have added to Accurate Tracker. So you can just set it, forget it. You don't have to worry about um, you know when anything was checked. You set it, you know exactly when it was checked, and you can check it at any time. And that's it. As you can see, Accurate Tracker was designed to be very user friendly, but above all, it's 100% accurate, 100% of the time, guaranteed, or your money back. So if you're ready to start saving lost time while receiving the absolute most accurate ranking info for your sites. Just click the Get It Now button next to this video and you can have AccuRank Tracker set up and running within the next few minutes.